start over again, you're going to need to re-enable your Wi-Fi, kind of like you you, una you enabled it. Uh, okay, so I'm going back into system preferences. Yep, and then network. Wait, let's go. Let's go screenshot to make sure if I do system preferences, are you um, system preferences? Now is that showing up? Uh, no, you have you have to screen share for me to see that. Okay, screen share system preferences now. Okay, good. Okay, share. Uh, let me just. Uh, and then you want to turn the air. I'm going to. Okay, so we're now recording getting static out of my. Um, so just to explain this, my computer, my video is breaking up, my sound was breaking up, and I'm with Ross at Zoom USA, and he was explaining why. I was on airport. Okay, so now the airport's. On. Can you hear me, Ross? I can still hear you. Let it, it, it's, it's not completely active yet because it takes a couple seconds for it to, there it goes, it's connected. And now you can actually uh, disable your Ethernet connection. You can. Uh, uh, disconnect. Uh, I don't know how to disconnect. It, I think if you right, right click on it, if you right click on it, it'll, it'll allow you to. Uh, no. Nope. No. Huh. Why isn't it letting you take it out? Okay, for for the for the for the, for the time being, you can just unplug the the cable at this point. Just go ahead and, and unplug the cable. I think it was showing Ethernet before, or as soon as I had put it in. Okay, yeah. you can hear me now. Yeah, I can still hear you. Um, still hear you, still see you, but the connection may start to to get kind of sh sh shaky. Yeah, so. It's too bad so, if you're recording this on your end. Would we hear the shakiness? Because, of course, we're not hearing it on my end. So now, so, so, so now your audio and your video is lagging again. Okay. Can you record? Is it possible for you to record that little segment so I, could I hear and see the lag? Uh, um, you will be able to uh, see in it, you. So right now, so you'll have to stop screen sharing in order for us to see that. So go ahead and stop screen share. Okay. Okay. So now uh, make sure that you are okay. You should be on active speaker. So what you're recording will show the lag and the and everything. So if you just go ahead and say anything, just make up some wordage to say so that they can see the okay. The well, how connection. Okay, how will it show on mine? You'd have to be recording for it to show, wouldn't it? No, no, no. The recording will 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 record both. Um. Okay. It'll. Yeah. So and and I already noticed a bunch of uh, audio lag and some video freezing as well already during this recording. So I. Um, so I see like your name. There's a little red thing, and then. And now it's yellow. What's that in the left corner? That is the bandwidth notification. Red means bad, yellow means okay, and white means good. Oh, that's how you were telling that I was uh, off. Okay. Right, exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly. After you plugged in your Ethernet cable, it went white, which means it was solid good. Now it's toggling back and forth between bad and okay, ending lag. Yeah. Okay, so right now, when it's red and yellow and white, it's mine that's doing it, not yours. Is that it? So I'm seeing red now that's showing poor, but is that coming from your reception or my reception? That'll be from yours. Okay, got it. Yeah. So now... Yeah. Basically, basically, basically what that means... It, actually, let me, let me rephrase that. That is showing you the connection between us. Right. So it's it's the connection that we have together. So it's just showing you an overall. This is how our connection is. So right now, mine is mine says Sheila, and yours says Ross. Correct. And basically, it's telling you this is the connection you two have between each other. So and it's not good because of the the Wi-Fi. So. Okay. Interesting. 
All right, so now I'm going so, to go. So now, so now go ahead, if you, now for, for recording purposes, if you screen share again, we can go through the process of hooking up net and turning the Wi-Fi off. Okay, should I put my ethernet in first or cable in? Here it is. Uh, yeah, so first, there it is. So first you wanna, so first, yes, the first step is to connect your ethernet cable to your router. Okay. Okay, now it is. Okay, so now we're okay. screen sharing again, and I'm now showing my system preferences. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing it showing Ethernet connected. And right. what I want to do is just click on airport turn. and turn airport off. Little button on the right. And then highlight Ethernet connected again. Make sure that the IP is there, which is good. Okay, you're good to go. Okay. Screen sharing has stopped is okay, fine. Yeah. yeah, right. So now we're going to experience uh, maybe a few seconds of bad quality because the connection is switching, but uh, this time it's okay. Yeah, it's showing way straight through. It's showing your name way straight through. Yeah. So, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's it. It's as simple as, is just, you know, if you have a Wi-Fi issue, the, the best and known solution is to use an ethernet cable and plug directly into computer and router and turn Wi-Fi off and your connection should be twice as fast. Well, and this, should... this is going to be very helpful. A friend of mine uh, also is having problems on her internet. I don't have to tell her this and they were doing everything. So, um, yeah, there, there, are, there are a couple of other cases that it may not be this. Um, they're more rare, um, but we do have an FAQ that kind of tells you more about how to, how to fix your wireless settings and, and, you know, basically different steps on what to take to improve your, your connection. Um, so, Sheila, after this meeting, I'll send you that FAQ you can kind of send out to any, anybody that you know that needs help uh, with their wireless setup. And it's very easy, just step by step. I, I made it uh, myself, so it's really just there, there's about three different steps you can take to improve your your wire your wireless or wired connection. Um, okay, so then if somebody freezes, or like I said, somebody the other night the computer froze, and she just ended up calling in, so of course she couldn't see our screen sharing. Or actually, yeah. we hold stuff up to the camera; it wasn't even screen sharing. But uh, so that she might have had the same issue then. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But the, the first thing you want to look out for is um, you want to make sure that the, the, that the person's router is close to where they're, they're, they're using their computer. A lot of times people set up their router, uh, their internet router, in a different room in the house, and then they have their laptop as a mobile device, and they're walking around the house with it, or they're farther away. That can create a huge issue. So, the first step is to just try to take the computer and sit it right next to the router and see if the quality improves. If not, then go to step two, which is to use an ethernet cable line. That should, that should fix the issue. If that doesn't fix the issue, you may need to what's called update your router's firmware, which is fairly easy. You just basically find what type of router you're using, go on the internet, search that router type, and then, uh, and then download the latest firmware for that router. We also have an FAQ on that that I can send you uh, just in case you guys get to the third step. That'd be great. I really appreciate this. Yeah. Okay. Um, but Sheila, but Sheila I, I, I guarantee you now, now that you're plugged in uh, internet, the connection is strong. There's no spikes. It's been solid ever since. I hear you great. See you great. Um, and uh, I mean, I think for, from 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 now on, your your meetings will you will never have another person complaining about your audio, <laughs> your audio. <laughs> so I, I I felt I felt so bad because I'm like you know here's Sheila she she's she's doing such a big part in helping Zoom out and making these tutorials and stuff, and she can't even have a good meeting herself. So I'm like I got to jump on a call with her and get her going on the right track here. So. Well, that worked. I mean, I just used my speakerphone and I called in and I, I was not aware of having video problems and they weren't saying I was breaking up on the video, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, so, 
So, and just for the record, uh, I mean, well, just for you know, just for some 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 simple knowledge base here, uh, Zoom, since it's cloud-based and not peer-to-peer, -peer, peer to peer technology means that uh, when someone is a designated as a host, everybody that joins that meeting is running on their network. Oh. We use cloud-based technology, which means everybody's network is independent upon their own, meaning you could have 20 people in a meeting, and if one person has bad internet connection, it'll only affect them, not everyone else in the meeting. That, that's probably what you've seen before, where you said someone dropped off, had to call in. During that time, nobody else in the meeting had issues. It was just them. Right. In peer-to-peer -peer technology, like Skype and, and GoToMeeting that uses peer-to-peer -peer technology, uh, if one person, ha if the host or the one person has bad connection, it'll affect everyone. So um, it's e it's, it, it, using cloud-based is much easier uh, for, for troubleshooting reasons, and it's much easier for um, keeping, meeting, keeping your meeting going and in high quality without having to worry about 20 other people's connections or issues, you know. So, um, so yeah, so, I mean, for you anyway, you're good to go. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll send you a couple knowledge base materials to, to help to help you kind of re you can review them and then you can send them out to whoever is having issues. And if that person still has more issues, you can always send them my way. Uh, just just, you know, copy me, paste them. And then I'll, I'll jump on a live meeting with them and see if I can help troubleshoot and fix their fix their fix any issues they're having. Well, that's great. I really appreciate all the service. I still want to ask you something, but I'm stopping the recording. So. Thanks yeah, so much. Ahead. I am so impressed with Zoom. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll write your boss a note if you want. <laughs> <laughs>